Well, sometimes lost in the shuffle of all that is Colby Covington, we don't talk enough about just how elite a welterweight this is. Realized a UFC interim welterweight title back in the day, and he's a guy who many people believe on any given Saturday night, he can be the top 170-pound fighter in the world. Absolutely, and it's the work ethic. It's the work ethic of Colby Covington that stands out. When I was at Oklahoma State as a coach, we wanted to recruit Colby Covington out of junior college because he was such a phenomenal workhorse. Everybody recognized it from day one. And when you watch it in his approach to his fights, he fights in that very same way. He's in your face. He's grabbing you. He's clinching you. He's taking you down. And he'll even stand and strike and throw big shots with you as the fight progresses. Don't mistake the talk for a guy that cannot back you up with actions. Colby Covington is a savage. Fear is not a factor for Colby Chaos Covington. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's gonna look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So these fighters relatively close in age, just a year apart, with some differences in height, but the same reach. We go inside the octagon. Here's the veteran voice, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. It's fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler holding a professional record of 16 wins, three losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Kobe Chaos coming time. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California. Bruce, the Dragon Lee! All right, grip the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. They touch him up, and we are underway. I mean, Damian Maya may be the most specialist type of grappler in the UFC. This guy resembles him in a number of ways. Let's see how he manages this fight against a guy that can do just about everything inside the octagon. Punch over the top. Oh, a huge block there. Everything's landing perfect. Keep that pressure going. Attempts the front kick there. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the coach. Okay. Connects with a right hand. Pretty good punch, that one. Nice right punch by this young man. Oh, nice straight punch there by Lee. All right, so a nice job there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave 
where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. These guys throwing early. Oh, beautiful jab there, man. It's like you know what's coming, can't stop it. I mean, you have to anticipate that jab coming or he will batter and cruise you with that single strike. Oh, nice jab. Big kick land. Lee's kick is blocked. And he landed the right hand there. Covington gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Just out of range with the straight left hand. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Two minutes have expired off the first round clock. is blocked. Big ball for the land. Now he gets back to range. And a miss with the right hook. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. That shot blocked by Covington. Missed with that right hand. And he lands a kick to the leg now. Pretty good work on the feet tonight by Lee. Looking to set up a knee of his own. Whiffs on the straight right hand. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Massive head kick. Once again, making good use of his size as he lands the knee. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. Throwing that jab now again. The fighter evades. Oh, that's a nice jab from Colby Covington. You know, it's amazing to think not all that long ago people didn't fancy him a striker. Now, looks like a fighter who can truly do it all. He's good 24 minutes with Kamara Usman. No takedown attempts, no wrestling. Stood right in the pocket and had a lot of success in that fight against the Welsh League Man. Back and forth we go. Well, so an early lead for him here tonight. He came out aggressively, and that decision has certainly paid off. Good start to round one. Move, move. Unable to connect with the right hand there. Powerful leg kick land. While well, he continues to find the openings tonight, beautiful connection with the punch there. Accuracy at its best. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. He blocks the punch. Oh, spinning back fist lands. Nice knee to the midsection there. Oh, he scored with that uppercut. So an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC. And I'd imagine a lot of these replays are going to be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're going to see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round. And at some point, these really start to take their time. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick. And watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one up? Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Let me see that 
Right hand upstairs. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. What a body kick. Right hand upstairs. Misses with that punch. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Covington. Just missed with the straight left hand. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. So there it is, taller fighter landing a knee to the body. Oh, nice punch there by Lee. Covington's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swelling. Timing his shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very active. Oh, that's a good right hand. Oh, and he lands another huge knee there as the taller fighter uses his length well yet again. Just misses with the jab. You got this, okay? You got it. Covington gets touched by that kick to the body. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Good stick. Some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece. There's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, <laughs> if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook. That's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man. Let this guy have the whole thing. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. Covington's punch to the body there doesn't get there. Nice job by the defense to block the shot. Right hand on point. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. It's such a fast leg kick. He missed with that jab attempt there. Nice kick. Oh, look at him land another jab there. He's certainly using that weapon effectively here tonight. The most effective weapon in all of boxing, in all of combat sports, is a jab. This young man has a knowledge of using it like no one else. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch, I just put a smile on my face. These guys are going at it. Just missed with the left there. Oh, he's got that right hand going tonight, DC. Connected with it there. He's thrown so many left jabs. To throw that right punch straight down the pipe. It's unreal. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Ten seconds on the clock. Ten seconds remain in round two. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. Ten minutes in the books. All right, so a huge round for him there. That head kick probably would have had me out for good. The guy survives to see another round. Yeah, but he'll go back to that. It landed so perfectly. He set it up great. He did a great job of mixing up the target early, going up high, and getting the desired result. Nobody's knocked him down like that before. Now this round, you want to put the 
All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're going to lead the dance as we go forward. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. What a punch. Oh, well, combination lands, and it seemed like almost every strike found the target. He's so accurate when he decides to attack. It is a sight to behold. Oh, beautiful slip and counter there by Covington. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Campbell inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Covington's punch to the body rejected there by the defense. Nice job by the opponent. Visibly limping here. Trying to establish that jab once again. Nice straight punch. Oh, and there he goes again, working off that beautiful jab. He continues to keep his opponent at distance. I mean, keeps him at bay with that beautiful, precise jab. It is like a fist. It goes in and out. And before his opponent can even realize what hit him, he's already hitting him with another one. Right. I love, love watching this man fight because of that beautiful, educated jab. The slip and then the counter by Lee. Ooh, what a head kick. Big leg kick land. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Covington. Head kick. Oh, that's a big weapon for him, but the overhand right not there that time. Punch coming, it's blocked. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to pile up these body shots here in the latter stages of this fight. You didn't see a lot of that in the earlier rounds, making up for lost time here. Great punch landed with so much power. Big hit to land. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh! Covington's lower jaw looking extremely swollen now. Series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Try to establish that jab. He splits the guard, lands the right hand. Just misses there with the left. Big oh. knee lands there. Oh, straight right. Lands. You want to talk about putting strikes together. Beautiful execution. And every one of them are landing. He's overwhelming him with different attacks. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Oh, beautiful combination of jabs there. Please strike attempt there is blocked. Covington gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. 
Well, he's looking for that left hand, just out of range, though, with it. And both guys really throwing with authority. All right, so a big round for him there, maybe even a 10-8. There was a big knockdown in there, courtesy of the kick. DC, talk us through it. He found his spot. I mean, he knew that there was a weakness. He found the spot. He recognized an opportunity to go and chase down that head kick. He threw it and landed, and he almost got the finish. All right, so next round underway here, and you got to admire the stamina that both of these guys still exuded towards so the end of that round. Both men put a particular focus on their cardiovascular commitment in this training camp, and it's clearly paid dividends here tonight. We have two legitimately fresh fighters here as we hit this next round. Oh, man, this guy kicks like a mule. So hard. He kicks so hard every time you see him drive his shin into his opponent. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Man, look at that damage on the right side of his body. Starting to really bruise now. Strong defense there to block the shot. Well, he's always on the counterattack, but a nice leg kick there by Lee. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Oh, it's a beautiful kick right there. I don't know if you've ever been kicked by a mule. Probably feel something like that. It has to. This guy has landed his kick with so much force. Well, DC, no denying he's winning this fight. And it's got to feel pretty good if you're a fighter. You put in the work, and it all comes together on fight. When it all comes together, nothing feels better to go out there and implement the game plan that you guys have worked on in training camp, and it goes as desired. Nothing feels better. Strike landed there by Covington. Nice job by the fighter here to continue to block the shots coming his way. You think he's... Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. After the huge knockout turned in tonight, near perfect execution, and one of the bigger highlights of his UFC career. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliata has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 36 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee. So the celebration is on with him and his team, and rightfully so. A monumental result tonight as he gets the win by knockout. He spoke it into existence. He said over and over to anyone that'll listen, I am going to knock this man out. He did it in an even more impressive fashion than he ever could have imagined. 